The city of Virginia Beach, Virginia has so much to offer, whether it's the outdoor activities you can enjoy with your family or the numerous events that happen throughout the year. My personal favorite happens to be the all the different beaches my family and I get to enjoy during the summertime. So you gotta ask yourself, living in Virginia Beach, Virginia has gotta be the perfect place to live, right? Right. Well, unfortunately, that's just not the case. So today, I'm gonna go over the five worst things about living in Virginia Beach, Virginia, so you can decide if living in the city is perfect for you. And make sure you stick around to the end, because I'm not putting these in any particular order. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So one of the first things I tell people who are considering to move to Virginia Beach or the surrounding areas is make sure they check out the traffic because traffic in our area is downright awful. Virginia Beach, it's even particularly worse in the summertime during the tourism season. To give you further proof that that's the case, a recent report listed Virginia Beach as the 72nd worst area out of 101 urban areas in America for traffic. The average driver spends 22 hours of their life life every month sitting in traffic. To give you a comparison, New York City obviously is the worst city. Those drivers spend 56 hours in traffic each month. So I hope you enjoy listening to the podcast or have some good music you like to listen to because if you're in Virginia Beach and quite frankly anywhere in Hampton Roads, you're going to be sitting in traffic. I want to show you a few of the choke points that are here in Virginia Beach, Virginia that really cause a lot of problems. I already mentioned during tourism season, the ocean front obviously is going to cause some issues. To give you an example, we recently had a concert event there called Something in the Water. Over 50,000 people attended that concert during the weekend. But some of the other major choke points in the city are Interstate 264 and starts at the oceanfront heading towards Norfolk. In Virginia Beach, you won't necessarily deal with any tunnels. However, if you're commuting throughout the cities, working in another city other than Virginia Beach, tunnels is something you're going to have to consider. The worst tunnel we have for traffic would be the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, which connects the south side of the peninsula. We also have the downtown tunnel in Norfolk that connects Norfolk to Portsmouth. And then also, if you're going to the Eastern Shore in Virginia Beach, you do have the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and that is a toll road. It's actually one of the larger bridges in the world, over 20 miles across the bay. And each of these has issues with traffic throughout the day, especially in the morning and the evening during rush hour traffic. Some of the local roads that also are very crowded and populated would be Virginia Beach Boulevard, Kempsville Road, Lynn Haven Parkway, and also General Booth. I'm just naming in a few of the roads. I can tell you there's many more I could name here, but due to time, I'm just going over these few individual roads. But take a look at some of the resources I put in the description below. That way you can see where a lot of the traffic is throughout the city. So with Virginia Beach having so much to offer, whether it's the beaches or some of the other things I already discussed, one thing you're gonna need to consider would be tourism. Tourism is incredible for the city as it really brings a lot of revenue in. Actually in 2021, the city received over $3.3 billion just from tourism alone, and that really helps generate funds for schools, facilities, the roads. So you can imagine the city really likes tourism. However, you living there, tourism might be something you grow to hate. To give you an idea of actually how many people visit the city throughout the year, before COVID in 2019, almost 19 million people visited the city during the year, and more than half of them actually stayed overnight. So as far as when tourism is at its peak from Memorial Day to Labor Day, however, the city has so much to offer, a lot of different events going on throughout the year. So tourism is something you're gonna have to deal with year round if you live in the city of Virginia Beach. So one of the things our area is very well known for is the military presence throughout Virginia Beach, Virginia and all the cities in Hampton Roads. But when I'm talking to anybody about Virginia Beach, there is something you need to consider because of that. And that would be jet noise. Jet noise is very prevalent in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. As the city is home to one of the larger naval air bases in the country named Oceana Naval Base. It really, quite honestly, doesn't matter what time of the day, you will deal with some jet noise. If you take a look at this map here, it'll really show you where the noise is the highest. And this is what we call an AQ's map. This shows you the noise and potential crash zones depending on where you are in the city. The military presence in Virginia Beach, Virginia and Hampton Roads is a very important and positive impact on our area. However, the jet noise is something you definitely have to consider when you're looking for a place to live as the noise can be very loud, and I promise you, over time, it will get annoying. 
is enough. I hope you're getting some value out of this video. If you are, please hit that like button below. That way I can get this video out to as many people as possible. And if you have any questions about the city or any surrounding areas, my contact information is going to be in the description below and also right below me here. And lastly, I'm mentioning all the bad things about the city. However, if you want to know some of the great things about the city, as there are many things, take a look at this video I did right here as we go over the pros and cons of the city. So let's go ahead and move on as we have two more topics to discuss that I definitely think you need to consider as there are two things you might not like about the city of Virginia Beach. The next thing I'm going to tell you you need to consider probably depends where you come from and that would be our weather here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. If you come from the north, you probably think our weather is incredible as most of the time throughout the year the temperatures are going to be in the 60s or 70s. However, I will tell you in the summertime, especially during July and August, it is brutally hot in our area. Our humidity is very high just because we're so close to the water and in the summertime there's going to be a few times where we actually hit 100 degrees or higher and that humidity makes that feel unbearable. Also, you got to think about hurricanes. During hurricane season, we live on the coast. You always have to keep an eye out for hurricanes. We don't get them extremely often. However, usually every three to four years, our area is going to be impacted somewhat by a hurricane. Might not necessarily be a direct hit. There will usually be some impacts to our area. And then we also have our crazy weather sometimes. Actually, last week, we had an EF3 tornado in the city of Virginia Beach cause a lot of damage in the Great Neck area of the city. I will tell you, that's extremely rare. That's actually our first EF3 tornado in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. So our weather sometimes can be a little bit unpredictable. During the winter time, we don't get snow very often, but when we do, it shuts our city down. So weather is something you're going to want to consider if it's right for you. I will say throughout the year, the majority of the time, our weather's great. But if you don't like the heat during the summertime, you will be miserable. So the next thing I want to review is the one that's going to impact you the most as it's going to impact your pocketbook. And that would be housing cost in Virginia Beach, Virginia. As far as purchasing a house goes, I'm going to show you a chart from our local MLS. And this shows you the average median sales price for houses by year throughout the South Side. And you can see right here, the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia is one of the top three at the median sales price for this year at 346,000. Chesapeake and Suffolk are the other two cities up there but as you can see the continuous rise up three percent versus prior year i understand that housing prices are increasing no matter where you are in the country however here in virginia beach you can see the straight increase very drastic it is one of the most expensive areas to live in hampton roads if you're looking for a place to purchase and then if you're looking to rent i found this website called zumper.com it's a really nice resource as it has a lot of different information on rental prices throughout the country as far as virginia beach virginia goes though the median rent price for a two bedroom right now, $1,649 a month. That is up 6% versus a year ago. This graph here shows you the price of rent throughout the last couple of years. Similar to the home prices, you can see the steady increase. As far as rent goes in other cities, just to give you a comparison, Norfolk, Virginia, using the same website, the median rent is $1,395, also up 3%. And then just looking at one other city, let's go to the city of Chesapeake, Virginia. The city of Chesapeake Chesapeake has really seen a drastic increase as a two bedroom is up 19% versus a year ago. However, it still is a little cheaper than Virginia Beach, Virginia, with the median rent being right around $1,600. So as we've already discussed, the city has so much to offer. So with all the great things the city of Virginia Beach has, a lot of people decide to choose Virginia Beach, Virginia to live when they're coming to our area. That's going to impact the prices of housing. So if you're interested in some of the great things about Virginia Beach, Virginia, check out this video I did right here. Go over some of the pros of living in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And again, I'm a local realtor.